Robert in Omaha, Nebraska. See more better here with ChristianEyewear.com where believing is seeing. Also, your new home to free prescription lenses with the purchase of any frame. That frame is the Ray-Ban 5114, color 2034, which is the classic black and crystal in the 54 eye size. And you're going to get the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lens with DoorVision Chrome anti-glare. But let's take out your frame first. Take it out of the packaging, your hard shell Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. Hopefully the camera will pick this up. This is the RB, the Ray-Ban 5114, color 2034, the black crystal in the 54 eye size, 18 bridge, 140 temple length. Now this comes in two sizes and numerous colors, all of which can be found on the website, but I'll put a link to this frame in the description below but yeah the black and crystal classic combination one of the more popular colors in the last few years versus just a solid shiny black if you have any gray hair that's really going to accentuate with it and of course i'm almost wearing the same color combination for that very reason i'll show you in just a little bit but let me pop out your original demo lenses one of which says ray-ban and of course you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging from the frame company to the lens company to all the stuff that I'll provide. But I'm gonna put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. I'm gonna program this shape into the computer so that years from now, should you need new lenses, come on flashlight, play fair. Should you need, need new lenses, I can send them right to your home. Now I'm gonna hit the start button. Little stylus is gonna pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at ChristianEyewear.com. Again, we're believing is seeing you buy any frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now you'll get the full reimbursement from your health savings account. My I'm do not accept any vision insurance plan so i'm considered out of network but if you submit an itemized receipt that i can provide upon request you will get your reimbursement back your out of network reimbursement from your insurance company so i'm going to move on to the next screen that is the shape of the lens that i'll be cutting let's go ahead and get your right lens done in fact uh, the pupillary distance for your both eyes is 63 divided by 2 is 31.5 the computer starts at 32.5 so I'm gonna tap the minus button twice because it goes down a half millimeter increments I want to raise the optical center height up to 18 change the layout screen from single vision to progressive the Zeiss Lite D is a digital freeform progressive I'm gonna take your right lens out of the protective packet that it comes in place it onto the platform now this is a block i need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting i need two double-sided adhesive stickers of which i've got them here the black side is the sticky side we're going to stick this one onto the first block do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky that silver button on the back is a magnet it's going to do its job twice the first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm and get everything lined up as such Make sure all the dots are going where they're supposed to. And... I'm going to hit this button. The block's going to come down. and The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. I'm going to do the same thing now for the left. But first, I always like to highlight the powers of your prescription. This says the Zeiss Progressive Light D18 1.59, which is the refractive index for polycarbonate. The prescription, which is plus 75, minus 75 at 95. Your 250 add power, same for the left. The Zeiss Progressive, prescription for the left eye. Bifocal strength, progressive power strength, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take the left lens out of the packet, place it onto the platform, pull the paper away to make the black side sticky, line up the magnet. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Same way that I get quiet as I concentrate. funny hey, this is my tell I always get quiet I make sure everything's lined up just perfectly it's the only peaceful time in this video for the viewers all right so now that uh, the block is applied to the left lens this is the tracer this is the blocker this is what's known as the edger 
but I'm going to come back to you because, again, this is a start of how Zeiss documents everything that they do. This is the full page readout that you can keep in your medical records. Again, this shows that this is the Zeiss Progressive Light D. This is your prescription verification information. It says the same thing. Progressive Light D18, which is the fitting corridor, 1.59 is the refractive index material of your lenses, which happens to be known as polycarbonate. I call it polycarb. The prescription for the right eye, plus 75 minus 75 at 95. Prescription for the left eye, plus 175 minus 75 at 100. And I highlighted a minus cylinder. Some doctors write it in plus. I do everything in minus. The progressive power for each lens. Your pupillary distance for the right and the left lens. The fitting height. The base curve of the lens. And because these are digital freeform progressive lenses, they have compensated powers as it moves down the lenses. All of that is documented here. The laser engravings that are on the outside of each lens. So if your doctor's office wanted to double check everything, they would put those two dots there. Hold the lens over the layout chart and that would tell you the fitting height, again, which is 18. But all that is there. That's what I love about Zeiss. They document everything. Because on the internet, how do you know what you're getting is actually what you paid for. Especially when something is invisible. Like the progressive lens. The no-line bifocal, no-line trifocal, multifocal. It goes by a million names. Well, four that I've just mentioned. And... But with this piece of paper, this shows you that you are getting exactly what your doctor prescribed. Now, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. You knew that bad joke was coming. Free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses made. So, again, blocker, tracer, this is the edger. This is what's going to edge your lens down from this size to this size. So it'll fit into the frame. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center that has that V-shaped bevel is going to place the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to go ahead and wake up the computer. Job ID number 2972. 2972 or as I like to say installment 2972 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. And you know one thing I've noticed, oops, oops, I'm dropping stuff. I got the dropsies. I did not put your the height, the 18. I did not write down. Now this is just a temporary card for your video. I have your permanent records that has your name, address, phone number, email, and none of that gets seen on camera. The frame sells for 163 the progressive. Now again, single vision lenses are free with the purchase of the frame, but Robert upgraded to the invisible bifocal from Zeiss. That's $149.99. And the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare is $69 for a total of... Where my calculator go? All right. Where is my calculator? That's a good question. Let's, um... Somewhere on here is a calculator. Let's add everything up. Oh, calculator. Oh, calculator. What have you added for me lately? Plus 149, plus 69. So a total of 381. Okay, now I can keep going. So, but, uh, yeah, I told you about all that. That's done. Okay, so these are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex. I would select that material. But we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. I always press the sticker on there firmly. The magnet's going to go into the Chuck, or as I call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see it's just tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old Jewish carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none. And let's not forget the other Jewish carpenter saying, love your neighbor as yourself, as thyself. So, the light flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry. 
meaning that no water sprays onto them while they're cutting, unlike plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, which cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto those lenses for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lenses, Robert, but just to wash away the optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of your lenses. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Zeiss offers the most complete UV protection that they have partnered with the American Cancer Society because of they offer the most complete protection. And speaking of protection, you upgraded to the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare. That is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, and such. The second feature is it reduces reflections. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. It makes for much better eye contact. So water has begun spraying, which tells me it's the last 20 seconds. The, in just a moment, a lever will come out. At the end of that lever is a spinning disc. That's what's gonna apply the safety bevel to smooth out the back surface of the lens. Now the second feature is it reduces reflection, so when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses, so it makes for much better eye contact, or if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see your phone in the lens, or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see that. Now the third component of the anti-glare is this anti-scratch capabilities. They put the hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment because the machine that applies the anti-glare costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So I just wanna make sure all the optical sawdust is off the edge of the lens. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. I'm gonna tuck it in at the outside corners when I push down with my thumbs, it snaps right in. Let's flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the, I'm gonna take it down just a little bit more, just a little bit, because um, this lens is stronger, so I know to do that. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Robert. Hit the green start button. Man, I'm not hitting my buttons today. Some days I push a lot of buttons for other people. Some days, like today, I just can't push a button. So the lens is gonna go in and be traced again by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the left side. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. is measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And the other carpenter saying... I was trying to... <laughs> Never mind. I was, trying to... I was going to think of something witty, but my witty well ran dry. So I'm going to go ahead and take this block off. Pull the sticker away. Use my hand approved drying method. And I'm going to come down here to the lensometer, do what's known as final inspection to make sure the right lens is cut correctly. I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 95, turn it on, put the put it in in front of the reticle right above the black dot, the fitting height, read the power, and I am getting plus 75 going away from zero in the black numbers and the plus sign going away from zero I stopped just shy of one because we're at three quarters of one diopter now you are you need three steps you're on the third rung of the ladder with your glasses off everything is much too small far away so your right lens magnifies by three steps now once it gets to the right size you have another three quarter diopters of uncorrected astigmatism which means that sixes and eights will look alike with the letters P and F. So think of it as the fine tune knob, and we're gonna turn that fine tune knob to 95. And when we read the second power, we're getting zero. How did we get back to zero? Because if you had 75 cents and then you let somebody borrow 75 cents, you'd be back to broke to zero, and that's where we're at. So 
you have plus one you have plus 75 here 90 degrees away you have a second curve that's steeper than the first curve and that's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp now your left eye you actually need seven steps you're on the seventh rung of the ladder to see far away same amount of astigmatism correction but we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 100. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 100, so for the right eye we go just past the 90th meridian to 95, the left eye 5 degrees further. Now, you have your progressive power is 250, it's called the add, because it means in addition to what's up top. So if you were to buy over-the-counter reading glasses, you add these two numbers together, 250 and 75, you would need 3 and a quarter. For the left eye you would need 4 and a quarter. And of course they don't make reading glasses with different powers. So should you ever need any, I can make them for you, Robert, with the astigmatism correction built in. And of course, those lenses would be free. Free prescription lenses with the purchase of any frame. Your home of free prescription lenses. That is never going away. So, same as my bad jokes. Unfortunately, those are never going away either. But with the pros come the cons. You get your free lenses, free single vision lenses with the purchase of a frame. I can do just distance, just reading, or just computer power. Oh, you don't want to go. There you go. It snaps in. You snapped in. It was still wet and slippery. I'm going to take that block off, pull the sticker away. Again, dry that off with my hand. Hey, get over there in the use section. Add to my sticker collection. Come down here. Spin the fine tune knob to 100. Put it in. Is the black dot still there? No. So let's use the layout chart. Come back down here. Use those two dots. Those are the engravings. They're little squares in there. That's what those engravings are. On the nasal, it gives you the readout for the refractive index and which Zeiss lens. It gives you the add power on the temporal corner. That's what I have underlined. That also helps tell me which is right or left. Put over those dots. And then now the layout. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. I'm going to turn that off now. Put it in over the black dot that I just put on the lens. Read the power. And I am getting plus 175. One tick mark away from two. Going away from one towards two. We stopped just shy of there. 175. Now you have three quarters doctor of astigmatism correction. Again, the fine two knob. When we check that curvature, we're back down to one. That's because... Subtract set 0.75 from 175, you're going to get 1. You still got 1 in the black. Now, this is where I measure your pupillary distance of 63, the optical center height of 18. I'm going to pull the card away. Turn the card around, I should say. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 63 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the deepest part of the plastic. We're getting 18 millimeters. That is cut perfectly. 18 millimeters. So, this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mention that when you get these in the mail, Robert, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just stop by your local shop and just tell them if it's too loose or too tight. I do that like if your head was too big, this would be cutting in. Or if it's high on one side. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. But the final part of the final inspection is getting this in a three-point stance, also known as standard alignment. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, when I take off my glasses and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Christian eyewear Philippians 4.13, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All of these frames come with a polarized clip-on, and you can see more of those if you visit the website and of christianeyewear.com click on philippians 413 just quickly these frames come in three principal colors black tortoise and purple each one of them you can get with either gold crosses or silver crosses same for the tortoise gold or silver and same holds true for the purple gold or silver some people like gold ships some people like silver ships but there's no ships like friendships Edith Bunker, thank you very much. Now, all of these come with a clip-on. 
and of course the color the clip-on color matches the frame color now the purple comes with a brown polarized gradient lens and both the black and the tortoise come with a polarized gray with an anti back surface anti glare coating because the most high-end sunglass companies Maui Jim Oakley Ray-Ban they put a back surface anti glare on their polarized lenses and I wanted to spare no expense I have very strong rare earth magnets that hold that on there and what I did I was greatly influenced by the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer you can see who I was influenced to now this is known as the shield I took the shield off the front because some people don't like that same temple now Ray-Ban has a three barrel hinge I put a seven barrel so there's four barrels on the temple itself there's three on the frame front when those go together and the screw goes in there that is extremely strong now I wanted to made the reason why I made a frame so close to the Ray-Ban is that you can go into any store in this country try on the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer in size 52 and you'll know exactly how this frame will fit you now this is a sunglass frame I just took the dark lenses out and put my clear lenses in there same for this now I have transitions but transitions do not work in a car so that's why I keep the polarized clip in my car when I get in the car I put on my seat belt I put on the clip when I get out of the car I take off the clip I take off my seat belt and I leave the clip in the car while supplies last you can get a second clip for $25 because I keep one in my wife's car now so that I always have prescription sunglasses in her car and of course you can see more of these if you go to my YouTube channel and click on Philippians, search for Philippians 4.13, you will see me doing videos for these. And you can see the pictures of them and close-up pictures on the website too. And come November, I will have these in a 55 and a 58 eye size, all of which come with a magnetic clip-on. So, let me flip this over, press down, there is no wobble. I need to get back to work here. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew like that. Check the tension on each hinge. If one hinge was loose, I would tighten it. If a hinge was too tight, I would loosen it so that they're matching. But Robert, that's it. The um, I'd appreciate a selfie. I send out a selfie request in every package. I'd love for you to send me a selfie rocking these that I can put on the website. You can also, if you have social media, occasionally hashtag me at Christian Eyewear. The I like to remind everyone that Jesus loves you unconditionally. I conditionally, however, I'm trying to get a like. If you like what you've seen here, hit the like button down below. You can click the my logo in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell icon so you'll get notified of future lens and frame combinations as they become available. Please feel free to share this video with other people who may like to see this and with the project that I'm working on. I truly am the proverbial David competing with corporate Goliaths out there. So Robert, I do appreciate you with the purchase of the Ray-Ban 5114 in color black crystal and the 54 eye size with your Zeiss progressive lenses and DuraVision chrome anti-glare. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.